Now here one, it's Scott, man. We're live here on M72. We're driving east. We're about a good two, three miles east of Grayling. And actually, I'm on my way to doing a video in Mayo, Michigan. It's about 27 miles to the east of here. So I figured I'd do a little bit of a driving segment here today. Yeah, it's like no soon after we went east of I-75. Yeah, we're definitely entering actually the the state forest right in here. Actually, not too far from the east, not too far to the east. If you're actually be entering the the Huron National Forest. It's a very very beautiful afternoon here. It's actually getting close to one o'clock right now. It's actually pretty warm right now. It's around 60 degrees. And for the last weekend of October, especially up in northern Michigan, this is it's at least above average when it comes to the high temperatures. But yeah, matter of fact, I was just up, not over in this part of the state, but or well, the northeastern part of Lower Michigan, with the exception of Sheboygan. But I actually was up in northern Michigan or Lower Michigan, actually two months ago, when I, my family and I went up to the Bel Air area, did some videos up there while I was up over there. So yeah, I was like for that, I was driving on the other side of M72, going west to Greeling. But yeah, it's very nice back in here. Although all the evergreens, all the pines aren't as tall or old as the ones like in Hartwick's Pine State Park. We actually did a video just about an hour or so ago. Still pretty cool though. Anyway, a little topic I'll bring up. Uh, Today being October the 25th, it's a Saturday. As a matter of fact, uh, for college football, there's a big in-state rival rivalry game today. It's the Michigan Wolverines versus the Michigan State Spartans. They're actually playing today in East Lansing. I think it's, the game's at 3:30. But well, all the all, the majority of the, uh, of the of the rivalry games between U of M and MSU have always been pretty fun to watch for the for the most part although there's there's been some games throughout history where Michigan is basically blown out Sparty or actually even the other way around where MSU's done spectacular against Michigan and actually even there's a lot of games during the 2000s where there are some really close victories for both teams Like I remember in 2001, yeah, Michigan State I think won on like on the final play of the final play of the game, and then in 2004 there was a triple overtime thriller at at the Big House at, or at Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, where one of yeah three overtimes and Michigan actually did like a 17 point comeback in the fourth quarter to tie it up to go to overtime, and I'm going to three overtimes to basically to have Michigan win that game. And then, yeah, they, Michigan actually won in overtime one year later. It's hard to say, it's hard to say who will probably win th for this for this year. Most likely, it'll probably be the Spartans probably because they have a much better team this year. Then Michigan. So I think Michigan's only three and four right now. Where Michigan State, I think, has only lost one game. So I think, yeah, I think Michigan State's 17 point favorites today. Plus, they are playing at home. So yeah, it's, it's pretty likely that Michigan State will probably win. But you never know. With it being a 
with them being a uh, rivalry game and Michigan having a bye week last week, they could surprise us. Never know, the maize and blue might, could always pull it out. But yeah, I'll probably be missing the game though because I'll be driving up in northern lower Michigan today. I might be able to catch maybe the third or fourth quarter, maybe it, maybe if I go like to Applebee's or something on my way back down to southeast Michigan. That should be interesting unless unless either team pulls away in the second half or something. But yeah, as a route, M72 yeah, actually is another one of the cross peninsula uh, cross peninsular highways in Michigan as the as it basically begins all the way over in Empire Michigan which is very close to Sleeping Bear Dunes over on Lake Michigan travels through Traverse City then Kalkaska and then of course comes through Grayling and then going over on this side continue continues over to Mayo and then further east it it eventually ends in Harrisville, which is over by US 23, which is pretty close to Lake Huron. But yeah, it's definitely very nice back in here. I'm going to stop filming temporarily. I'll, I'll pick things up in a little bit. About a quarter of a mile ago, actually, we just entered into the Huron National Forest. It's a, it's a pretty big it's a pretty big forest in the northeastern part of lower Michigan. It actually stretches all the way over toward the Tawas area. As a matter of fact, when I did the video at the uh, Lumberman's Monument, three years ago. That actually is a part of the Huron National Forest. South Branch Township. Yeah, the funny thing is it's actually north of West Branch. When it comes to a, when it comes to the, comes to the whole directional uh, what I'm trying to say. When it comes to directions, it's a little bit unusual, especially with north being to the left of us. Oh, and actually up ahead, we got some fall color approaching. Of course, they have more evergreens over there, too. And then, as you'll notice in a second, yeah, people don't like to go the speed limit on these roads. I'm actually tra I'm actually traveling 55 miles an hour, but people like to go even 70 on these roads. Some areas, it's like, yeah, I almost could, but at the same time, they keep them low enough so that way it's safe driving, but... Anyway, uh, chances are if they have the speed limits to 70, people would probably go 80 on this. That's how it is in Michigan. Whatever the speed limit is, people always go 10 to 15 higher. I don't know why, it's just the way it is, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of fall color, it actually was quite a quite a nice fall color going up on I-75, pretty much between I'd say between Standish and and probably probably Grayling. Here's the south branch of the Al River. Yeah, the Al River has a lot of 
has a lot of branches or tributaries that eventually go into the main branch, which we'll actually we'll see in Mayo. It's like looking at the it's like looking at the calendar. It's like I can't believe it's almost the end of October already. Because, I think, because yeah, this time next week it's gonna be November. But yeah, 2014 has really has really flown by. Definitely, definitely seen a lot of seen and gone to a lot of different places throughout the year. Back in, like yeah, back in March, of course, came up to Northern Michigan. April, I went to the video game convention PAX East in Boston, Massachusetts. Did a bunch of videos all throughout the state of Michigan, all throughout the year, including right now. <laughs> and then also making the trip over to Virginia and Maryland, and West Virginia too, back in around the 4th of July weekend. And going to another video game convention, Com Bravo, in Hamilton, Ontario, back in late July. And I will, and I will say this, it's, because it's only late October, we're actually not done yet with the year. Still got other things planned with these videos, just this year, and then actually already starting to plan some things into next year as well. Sometime next next year, I would like to go back up to the UP again. I actually have a I have a friend who who actually went up to the UP. I think a few weeks ago, like up to like, I think the Tequamanon Falls, Pictured Rock, and stuff like that. Sixteen miles a mile, so we're pretty much at the midpoint between Grayling and Mayo. But yeah, up in northern Michigan, we are kind of getting to pass peak a little bit because yeah, don't don't see as much as as many as the nice fall colors that you would see, let's say earlier in October. Continuing on into, into Oscoda County. As a matter of fact, Mayo is the county seat of Oscoda County. It's a it's a pretty remote county in northern Michigan. So it's although people do live like in Mayo and also up another upcoming town, L Luzerne, which I think is coming up not too far away from here. For the most part, this is more a place where people come up here for like, for like for the weekend or or sometime during the summer and stuff. Actually, got a nice nice fall coal over there too. It's pretty cool how it blends in with all the with all the pine trees. can't feel in the car. There's actually a pretty nice breeze outside today. You actually can see it in the trees a little bit. So yeah, to be honest, I will say this is probably one, one of the nicest times of the year when it comes to weather here in Michigan. Especially with, with all the fall colors throughout October, it's actually not too hot, not too cold. Even in northern lower Michigan, it's Pretty unusual to see snow even up this far. Actually, even in the upper peninsula of Michigan, I don't think it 
it's pretty rare that even you get accumulating snow up in the UP. November is usually when things start to turn snowy, especially in the northern part of the state. Then more so December as you get down to the southern part of the state. That looks cool. And we're actually coming into the, to the small unincorporated village of Luzerne. As you can tell, there's not really a whole lot in here, but... Oh, actually, there is... Actually, there is a... It's like a... Yeah, gas station, also a small grocery store, too. Oh, wow, this is a pretty nice view right here. Again, that was Luzerne. Now we're next, the next town we'll be going through will be Mayo. Well, that looks really pretty right there. All right, eight more miles to go till we get to Mayo. Actually, this row actually will meet up with M33, which can take you back south toward not to not to West Branch or anything. I think it goes to I think I think Alger, I believe. And then going going north can take up to up toward like Onaway and eventually to Sheboygan. You can definitely tell that you're, that you're up in the North Woods. And we're actually about a few miles east of where I ended the last segment. Actually, getting pretty close to Mayo. Got some more fall color up ahead, too. Yeah, it's been a pretty pleasant drive since I left Greenling a, a little while ago. Yeah, you can definitely see a lot of trails back in there. And there's probably more over on that side of the road as that's not terribly far from the Osalba River. Get ready to come into Mayo right now. West side of Mile right now. And 
then yeah, here we are, downtown Mayo. And then yeah, right up there at the light is actually M33, and yeah, M72 actually will run parallel, not parallel, will run concurrently with it for a short ways and then eventually continue east. Hey, anyway, I'm gonna get ready to stop and do the video here in Mayo. So thank you for watching today's video along M72 and this is the Scott Man signing out.